Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to work on a movement fix. So, what may happen is that now we've got some movement in the opponent as well as the player. When the two models clash, they may move off the Z axis. Now, because this is obviously a 2.5D game, um, that axis needs to stay locked. So we're going to fix that now, and I'm going to begin in the opponent AI. Let's come to the void update, and we'll just copy one of these lines where we call an update function. We'll paste that in below and we'll rename it so let's say update opponents plane position just copy and paste that into the comments don't worry about the red error because we're going to fix that by creating the function now so I'm just going to create it towards the bottom of the script. I'm probably going to put it here before we apply the gravity. So let's create of type private void. And we'll paste that in. We'll open and close brackets, open and close again. And do the normal thing of copy and paste in the debug log in there. Now inside the function we're going to say if we'll open and close brackets and then inside those brackets we'll say underscore player and let's just have a look not player sorry underscore opponent yeah opponent controller dot transform dot position dot z does not equal we'll enter we'll come to a new line we'll say game manager with a capital G dot the opponent's starting position dot z So let's put this into the comments. If position on Z axis does not equal and we'll say opponents starting position on the Z axis. And we'll enter there. We'll say transform dot position is going to equal a new vector three. Let's open and close brackets, close that line off. Again, inside the brackets, we'll enter first. We'll say transform dot position dot x. Now, this is because over the course of the game, the X and Y positions may change. So by just saying transform dot position and then the axis, that will be the current position on that axis. Because that's not the one we need to fix. We'll do the same for the Y axis. Again, comma, enter. And now the Z axis, the one we do need to fix. Again, we're going to say game manager with capital G dot 
underscore opponent starting position dot Z and now we can put the co um, the comments in so set we'll say then set position to a new vector 3 by the current position on the x axis we'll just copy and paste the comment in again for the y axis and for the last line we'll say and by the opponents starting position on the Z axis so we'll just save that off there if we come back up to the void update that should be now fixed the error and um, so now we'll come to the play one movement we'll come to the void update and we'll copy the line where we say update the plane position let's get rid of that empty line let's give this a new naming convention of updates players plane position And we'll paste it into the comments. And now we'll actually copy the entire function, what we've just created. Again, I'm going to put it at the bottom of the script in the same place. And we'll just begin to change the naming conventions around. So I'll change the name of the function the debug log, opponent controller, player controller, and game manager dot players starting position. We'll change that in the comments. And we can also copy and paste in here on the very last line. And we'll change the comment also. So let's save that off there. Okay, with those in place, let's come to the game manager. So, obviously we've made these public static, which means we cannot... If I come to the game manager object it's not showing in the inspector now we can change this very easily and what we're going to do is we're going to create a public float underscore player starting I'll just put POS for position x axis equals minus 1 f close that line off into the comments we'll say defines the players starting position on the x axis and um, now if we come to player starting position, if I try and copy this variable which equals minus 1f over this where it says minus 1f, we're going to get this error and that's because it cannot reference a non-static variable. But we can fix this. 
But um, let's first create the other two. So I'll just copy and paste that new line in. I'll change from X to Y and Z. Change it here. And the Y is a zero. And the Z is minus seven. So let's come to this line now. And after we say vector three underscore player starting position, let's close that line off. And I'm going to copy player starting position and new vector three. So I'm copying all that line apart from the first three words, public static vector three. So let's come down. I'll put these in the await function. We could put them anywhere, to be honest. We could put them in the start if you wish. So now we've pasted that in. Let's get rid of this close the line here just before the equals. And we'll move tidy up the comment. And I'm just going to break up these lines for the numbers. Let's cut and paste that comment in. And now if we come back to this line, we can actually delete everything up to that new, or I should say after, that new close brackets. So now the line is just public static vector three player starting position. We'll just put, we'll change the comment defines players starting position. And now we can copy and paste these new variables in. So X, Y and Z. We'll just save that off now. If we come, wait for it to recompile. Now we can actually adjust the variables if you need to. Now, for some of you, maybe many of you, this is not necessary. But um, for those that are struggling to find values that suit their project, this hopefully will make it easier. So I've just copied and pasted in all three of the new variables we've created. I'm just switching player to opponent in the naming convention. I'll paste in opponent over player in the comment. Exactly the same apart from the X, which is one instead of minus one, at least in my project. And again, we can now alter this line. So again, I'm closing off halfway through the line and then copying. Let's paste that in. We'll come back, we'll get rid of this. And again, I'll just quickly go through and swap out what needs to be changed. So and then we'll swap out the naming conventions for three axes. So opponents X, Y and 
finally said just paste that in hasn't deleted the minus seven let me just get rid of that and we'll save it off there so now once we like recompile you can now adjust these values if you need to but i think we'll leave it here for this lesson so as always i hope you enjoyed this video i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now